With six seasons already in tow, the cast of the CW's Riverdale has been together for quite a while now, and their bond has gotten stronger than ever over the years. Filming can be pretty exhausting, but fortunately the cast knows how to keep it fun, as evidenced by their numerous takes on and off set. For today, we'll be sharing with you the funniest bloopers from Riverdale, so keep on watching to know more. First up is KJ Appa's Bad Goofing Off. KJ Appa, who plays Archie in Riverdale, decides to joke around and hold Casey Cott's head during one of the many cafeteria scenes. While the scene is undoubtedly worthy of a few grins, the ensemble mainly maintains their cool. When a character member exclaims, KJ, you have a line after that, Appa breaks down and replies, do I? Everyone starts giggling because of the screaming and KJ's New Zealand accent. Appa's line is given to him by Lily Reinhardt and Camilla Mendez, but he doesn't remember it. Next, KJ Appa and his penchant for falling. While many of the cast flub their lines, KJ Appa can barely walk around the stage without tripping. Appa trips getting on and off seats and tumbles downstairs and upstairs and one chair scene from Riverdale's musical episode, KJ falls over while attempting to sing. Appa gets stuck trying to dismount the same bike despite skidding perfectly in one bicycling shot. However, co-stars like Haley Law have spoiled their own takes in this fashion. And Madchen Amick and Lily Reinhardt have slipped while filming a kitchen brawl. KJ stumbles all the time, but the cast makes fun of him for barely getting through a doorway unscathed. Now, on to the numerous fumbling when delivering dialogue. Riverdale's bizarre dialogue necessitates a lot of retakes, which can occasionally make the entire ensemble laugh out loud. The elder performers become comically irritated with themselves, and Lily Reinhardt smirks until she requests another go. However, the actors appear to be acutely aware of their mistakes and frequently make the decision before the director calls the cut. Madeline Petsch curses as her co-stars, and occasionally resorts to gibberish to distract herself. Consider Madchen Amick taking it a step further and rewinding himself all the way at the door in a single bedroom scene. If none of the above make you chuckle, watching the stern principal Weatherby lose his cool will. Up next is when Cole Sprouse couldn't blow out his candles. A scenario for Jughead requires him to blow out all of his candles toward the camera, which Cole Sprouse does for what seems like an eternity, but a few candles manage to stay lit. Before additional individuals start giggling in the background, one crew member gives out a dejected sigh. Sprouse is so frustrated with himself that he looks at the camera and responds with a comical frown. Finally, Lily compares Cole's visage to the I am disappointment meme. And now for Lily Reinhardt keeps Casey Cott in check. Casey Cott holds up shooting with his excited and unrestrained laughter before a take in Riverdale High. Calm down, Lily says to Cott as she reaches over to get some food. Casey laughs even harder as a result of the maneuver and the rest of the cast joins in. The smug look Reinhardt flashes as she says it adds to the whole hilarity of the situation. Camilla Mendez struggles to keep her composure and nearly spills her coffee. Madeleine Petsch cracks up about Camilla Mendez's scarf. Veronica and Cheryl decide to scheme together despite their shared antipathy during a nocturnal scenario in a carriage. When Camilla Mendez's scarf lands on her head and covers half her face, things immediately go wrong. Camilla smiles at first when she appears perplexed then cracks out as she knows what's going on. Madeline Petsch attempts to ignore it, but Mendez fights so fiercely that it's difficult not to chuckle. As Petsch tries to power through the situation, all of Cheryl's customary dramatic language sounds hilarious, and both women try to keep going despite the problems. It becomes a more entertaining jumble to watch. Next, Cole Sprouse suddenly forgets his line. I have a theory, Jughead declares passionately as the gang's debating another case at Pops. When Cole Sprouse Sprouse turns to the crew and asks, what's the theory? All the mystery is stripped away. While messing up lines is typical of occurrence, Cole's attempt to hide it is hilarious. When Sprouse discovers his mistake, he completely deviates from character, causing everyone else to chuckle. Given how gritty Cole's first delivery is, his stupid smile is all the more amusing. Whether or not Sprouse was attempting a cheap laugh, this snappy phrase had us in stitches. The mysterious horse man cracks up the cast. Things get so out of hand in the middle of a party that a man wearing a horse mask walks by. For a brief while, Kevin, Veronica, and Joaquin all appear befuddled and almost disgusted. Though the group initially kept their composure, they can't help but chuckle when Casey Cotts asks, was that a horse mask? Whether it's Cotts' face or the question itself, you can hear others giggle in the background as he speaks. Rob Rocco manages to keep a relatively straight face despite the awkward lack of music and Kevin's real look of surprise. We can't forget when Marisol Nichols was 
pranked by Luke Perry. When Hermione Lodge, played by Marisol Nichols, discovers a snake given by the Southside Serpents, Fred, who was portrayed by the late Luke Perry, offers to assist her. Perry starts shouting out of nowhere when Luke Perry and Marisol Nichols are shooting a discussion scene at Pops later. When Marisol sees the faux snake coming out of his cloak, she shouts back at him. By the time Luke starts laughing and apologizing, Nichols has fallen into her booth. Rather than merely giggling along, the team is vocally grumbling at the prank. Marisol's concern was justified, especially since they had a genuine snake on stage. Rest in power, Luke Perry. You are solely missed. Nana Rose's phone call turns into a room service call. In this scene, Nana Rose, played by Barbara Wallace, slips out of her wheelchair to alert Tony about Cheryl after the Blossoms leave her alone for a moment. The entire scene is tedious and terrible to see, and it perfectly demonstrates Rose's willingness to go to great lengths to assist her granddaughter. Barbara Wallace, on the other hand, surprises us by taking up the phone and ordering Eggs Benedict, as if she were ordering some room service. The scene's full drama adds drama to Wallace's humor. Barbara demonstrates to spectators that even the oldest cast members can be amusing. Molly Ringwald vs. Her Drink During a scene with KJ Appa, the actress begins coughing, prompting the actor to inquire if she was okay, but the actress laughed it off, explaining that she was choked up over the tea she was sipping at the time. Up next, Camila Mendez and KJ Appa communicate via monkey sounds in their trailer. Another hilarious thing that happened in between shoots is when the actors are on their own trailers. You'd think they'd spend the time in peace, but no, not Camila Mendez and KJ Appa. In a video uploaded by Appa on his Instagram story, he's seen speaking gibberish and what seems to be monkey language and, hilariously, you could hear someone answer his gibberish lingo the same way. Turns out Camila Mendez has a knack for making a lot of funny noises too, and the video shows the two answering back and forth along with the caption, when you trailer neighbor is at Cami Mendez. Lily Reinhardt and Cami Mendez break out in their rendition of What Dreams Are Made Of. Riverdale has a lot of musical episodes which remind us a lot of Glee, but of course, they have their own twist. Off screen, the actors are also into making a lot of musical skits, such as Camila Mendez and Lily Reinhardt's short rendition of What Dreams Are Made Of, the original song for the Lizzie McGuire movie. But hey, these two got some pretty nice vocals as well. Now for KJ getting his hair, eyebrows, and freckles done. Unlike the character of the comics, Appa is a natural brunette, so every two weeks he needs to keep it maintained to get that bright red mane that is the defining feature of Archie Andrews. The actor often posts snippets of his hair maintenance on social media, which includes a lot of wacky faces. But hey, maintaining that hair color is a one long process, so we wouldn't blame the actor for making a lot of goofy faces and sharing it with his fans to pass the time. Finally, we have the cast napping everywhere they can. The series entails a lot of night shoots that require the cast to pull a lot of all-nighters to get the perfect shot. As a result, you could see many of the cast members hitting that snooze button, whether they're doing makeup or on cue. Since since this is a pretty rare opportunity, a lot of the actors play a prank on one another. There's even a video of Skeet Ulrich, who woke up screaming in his chair after being poked away. Honestly, it wouldn't be Riverdale if not for all these pranks. If they're not napping, they're munching in between takes. We've seen the video of Camilla Mendez rehearsing for her song with a half-eaten pear in her hand, and Cole Sprouse who couldn't deliver his dialogue right because there were too many fries in his mouth. This pretty much wraps up some of the funniest bloopers from Riverdale. There are a whole a lot more, but unfortunately we've already run out of time. Which one is your favorite in the aforementioned? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more videos like these. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.